Have you ever had a cherished memory associated with a movie, or perhaps a favorite classic Hollywood actor whose performance left a lasting impression? If so, you're in for a treat with the 1945 film Ziegfeld Follies. This classic showcases a star-studded cast, including some of the most beloved actors of the golden era of Hollywood. But before we delve into that, let's set the stage by sharing a few intriguing facts about the show. Siegfeld Follies is a musical extravaganza that brings together a medley of performances, comedy sketches, and musical numbers. With its glitzy costumes, dazzling dance routines, and unforgettable tunes, the film epitomizes the glamour and entertainment that the Siegfeld Follies were known for. It's a captivating journey through the world of showbiz and spectacle. Now, we'd love to hear from you. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Or, perhaps, which classic Hollywood actor in Ziegfeld Follies was your favorite? Please share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your insights and recollections will add a delightful dimension to this cinematic gem. The initial version of the movie Ziegfeld Follies from 1945 previewed at the Fox Westwood Village Theater in Los Angeles on November 1, 1944, and ran for 173 minutes. The film was a musical extravaganza featuring various performers and acts. It was a lengthy production, providing audiences with a substantial amount of entertainment. The 173-minute runtime allowed for a variety of musical numbers and performances, making it a notable aspect of the movie. Judy Garland's number, A Great Lady Has an Interview, was originally intended for Greer Garson, but she declined the role after the songwriters demonstrated the routine at her home. This number was a spoof of Garson's high-toned image and was eventually performed by Judy Garland in the film. The original opening sequence of the movie featured stop-motion animation with Leo the Lion introducing Florence Ziegfeld Jr. and the Ziegfeld Follies. The live-action portion of the film began after this introduction by Leo. These facts provide a starting point for an in-depth exploration of the 1945 movie Ziegfeld Follies, highlighting its runtime and some interesting casting choices. The film is known for its extravagant musical performances and unique opening sequence. The filming of the 1945 movie Ziegfeld Follies had its fair share of challenges. One of the most notable incidents was during the production of the finale, which involved a machine producing bubbles. This contraption, intended for a spectacular scene, turned into a filming fiasco. On the first day of shooting the finale, the gas from the bubbles caused Vincent Minnelli's cameraman to faint atop a 40-foot lift. As Minnelli struggled to prevent his cameraman from falling, the bubbles continued to flood the soundstage to such an extent that it became a hazard. The fire brigade had to be called to stop the machine. Even after that, teams of workers used large rackets to manage the bubbles, but the gas remained a constant problem. Between takes, Minnelli would open the soundstage's doors so the cast and crew could breathe. James Melton even filmed with a wet handkerchief in his mouth to protect his voice. As a result of the bubble mayhem, Fred Astaire and Lucille Bremer's dance was completely removed as the bubbles obscured their faces in every take. This incident goes to show that even in the glitzy world of Ziegfeld Follies, filmmaking can have its unexpected challenges. Planning for the 1945 movie Ziegfeld Follies had been in the works since 1939, with actual production commencing in 1943. The years of meticulous planning and preparation were a testament to the grand vision of its creators. The film's director, Vincent Minnelli, and producer, Arthur Freed, spared no expense to make sure that every detail of the Ziegfeld Follies would captivate and entertain audiences. From the stunning set designs to the extravagant costumes, every aspect of the movie was carefully crafted to transport viewers into the dazzling world of the Ziegfeld Follies. The film featured some of the most renowned stars of the era, including Judy Garland, Fred Astaire, and Gene Kelly, whose performances added an extra layer of brilliance to this cinematic masterpiece. Behind the scenes, it was not just the cast that was exceptional, but also the creative minds responsible for bringing this extravaganza to life. Legendary composer Irving Berlin contributed his musical genius to the project, composing several of the unforgettable songs that would grace the film's soundtrack. 
Stay tuned for more intriguing details about this iconic movie as we delve further into the creative process, the challenges faced during production, and the enduring legacy of the Ziegfeld Follies. This beloved film continues to be a source of inspiration for generations to come, showcasing the timeless magic of classic Hollywood musicals. MGM's 1945 movie Ziegfeld Follies had a tumultuous journey to the big screen. After a two-week roadshow test run in Boston and Pittsburgh, the film faced a lukewarm audience response. Disappointed studio executives considered rearranging segments, restoring discarded scenes, or even creating a new finale. Although Busby Berkeley's involvement was rumored, it didn't materialize. Ultimately, the movie had its Manhattan opening in March 1946 and a wide release in April. The film's rocky road to release sheds light on the challenges faced in bringing the extravagant Ziegfeld Follies to audiences. Stay tuned for more about this iconic movie's history and legacy. The 1945 movie Ziegfeld Follies holds a special place in the annals of entertainment history, not only for its dazzling display of talent, but also for its association with one of the most beloved comedians of the era, Fanny Bryce. Known for her impeccable comedic timing, and her ability to capture the hearts of audiences on both stage and radio, Fanny Bryce left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. One of the highlights of Ziegfeld Follies was her memorable act, The Sweepstakes Ticket, a skit that had its origins in the 1936 Broadway show Ziegfeld Follies of 1936. This sketch was a testament to Bryce's versatility as a performer, as she effortlessly switched between various comedic personas. Her ability to connect with the audience through humor was truly remarkable, and the sweepstakes ticket became an instant classic. Another of Fanny Bryce's iconic sketches, Baby Snooks and the Burglar, had its origins on NBC's radio series Good News of 1940. This sketch featured Bryce's signature character, Baby Snooks, a mischievous and lovable toddler who often found herself in humorous predicaments. The character of Baby Snooks was a fan favorite, and Bryce's portrayal of this lovable troublemaker showcased her unparalleled talent for character acting. Ziegfeld Follies was a significant milestone in Fanny Bryce's career. It marked her last appearance in a movie, but it served as a testament to her enduring comedic legacy. Even today, her performances continue to bring laughter and joy to audiences, and her influence can be seen in the work of countless comedians who followed in her footsteps. In conclusion, Fanny Bryce's contributions to the world of entertainment, as highlighted in Ziegfeld Follies, continue to inspire and entertain generations of fans. Her ability to make people laugh and her knack for creating memorable characters are testaments to her timeless talent and the mark she left on comedy. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing world of the 1945 classic, Ziegfeld Follies, we invite you to embark on a journey of nostalgia and introspection. This cinematic gem, a true testament to the golden age of Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of countless viewers over the years. Now, it's your turn to reflect on your personal connection with this masterpiece. What memories does it conjure? Was it a heartwarming tale, a captivating performance, or perhaps an unforgettable song that resonated with your soul? We encourage you to share your thoughts and cherished moments with us, for it's in these shared experiences that the magic of cinema truly comes to life. Ziegfeld Follies is a tapestry of artistry, a celebration of human creativity, and an embodiment of the enduring spirit of entertainment. So, take a moment to relive those memories, discuss your thoughts, and connect with fellow admirers of this cinematic treasure. Thank you for your time and interest in exploring the enchanting world of Ziegfeld Follies with us. Your unique perspective adds a brilliant stroke to the canvas of its legacy. Share your thoughts and memories and let the magic of this timeless film continue to shine through the years.